Hey guys, this is Christopher John here and uh, hereby actually I just would like to introduce my new channel that is Medical Billing TV and VTV in which I will go to explain to you about this industry. This is the fastest growing industry in India in which we can have a good future and good career as well and very short period of time we can have a good position as well and good salary package as well. So I was having a lots of emails and requests from the uh, from the people that uh, explain what is all this industry, what is all about this industry, and how they can make their career in this industry, and where they are going to fit it in this industry, like uh, whether they are going for they should go for charge posting, union posting, AR, MT, coding, etc. So. With the medium of this channel, I will going to explain to you about this industry. So whenever I going to whenever I go to start uh, training sessions for the freshers, I'll go to start. I'll start with the revenue cycle management. It will give you a glimpse how this industry works, and it will help me out where you are going to suggest in this industry all right so in this just we are we will have a overview of this industry which will give you um, the idea about your caliber and about where you want to be go in which department you want to be go all right so let us start it's about the health insurance. We do have a health insurance in India as well, but in US it is more organized. They are having a more organized pattern and everything. In India, we are just, I mean, uh, if we do have health insurance, they will not cover uh, minor things. They will just go for the major issues in which a doctor sees that or diagnose that the patient hospital for an observation or for a treatment or for surgery more than 24 hours. If we are staying in hospital less than 24 hours, insurance company will not reimburse to you. You have to pay from your pocket. Even though you do have uh, health insurance, irrespective of whatever you have package. Whether they are covering 5 lakh or cover 5 lakh or whether they are covering 10 lakh or anything. But unlike in India, in US, they cover all the medical treatment. Whether you are having a, even though you have a fever, even though your nose is running, even you are having cold, minor to major treatment they cover. I think sometimes it depends upon the the package what we have taken, the plan what we have taken, but the major instrument, but almost they cover everything. Patient is having some kind of a mummy, patient is feeling that he is not well and he needs a medical attention. So, what will happen? The patient, what is the general fund? patient will call to the receptionist of the doctor office, the front office of a doctor, in which in which the receptionist will take all the basic information of a patient on a call. Such as patient name, age, gender, telephone number and the reason of the treatment why she wants to visit to the doctor plus health insurance information. Now here could be two cases. First is that the patient is old patient. I mean old patient means patient uh, already registered with the, this doctor. Or it could be a new patient. Patient never visited to that doctor. He is a new for that doctor. Now what will happen? If this patient is identified that patient is old, he will feed just the date and the time of the appointment because we do have already the patient information such as name, date of birth, 
uh, ensuring the information, everything. But if a patient is new, they will update all the information and make a new account for the patient in their software and fix the appointment of that patient. She will look in the software if she is having, um, if she is having, I mean, um, she will look at what date is free and what is the time when she can visit to the doctor. Once she is fixed the appointment, all the information which is split into software will go to the eligibility department. This is the department, you know, which is responsible to verify with insurance company whether patient insurance policy is active or not. Because sometimes it happens that patient is giving us a old insurance information or might be if they don't know whether their policy is active or not. So in the case, what will happen that once we file a claim to insurance company, but the patient is not active, so our claim, our bill will be rejected by insurance company because patient is not active. So they are not supposed to pay any bills to the doctor and by that we are losing our money then what happened that we will go to the patient again and the maximum time it happened that doctor lost their money so what happened that this is the major department which verifies that whether insurance company is active or not and the other thing is that that they have also verified that the services which we are going to render render to the patient which we are going to suppose to deliver to the patient whether these services are covered under the plan or not. Sometimes it happens that patient policy is active, but but the services which we are going to render are not covered. For example, like like um, as per the patient plan, hospital services are not covered. So whatever we are going to perform in a hospital. Are not covered so if we are going to cover if we are going to perform the insurance company will not pay that is an example so this is the major department in which we have to verify whether patient is active or not and whether the rendering services are covered or not all right so once they verify this they update the information whatever they're getting from the insurance company into the software. They can get this information by the website, by the IVR and by the telephone calls to the insurance company. They can make direct call to the insurance company to verify all this required information. Once they get the information, they update it in the software and then researchers comes to know that whether the patient is active or not. Now the days come when patient is supposed to visit to the doctor. At the time, if the patient is not active, so sessions can ask about the active insurance information or she can intimate that if you don't have any active insurance, then you have supposed to pay your bills. Are you agree with that? And they can sign a bond with the insurance with the patient that she is agree to pay whatsoever will be the bill and she at the time of reception when the doc, when the patient visiting to the reception she will take a, top, a hard copy of a insurance card and uh, she can take a personal identity like your driving license and social security number Then she will take all the information, she will scan it and upload it into the software so we can have a soft copy with us. In case we need, uh, we need this information, we can utilize this information from our software. 
after doing all the formalities <coughs> patient may visit to the doctor if this is doctor doctor is going to identify what exactly patient is having is diagnosing the patient and giving a treatment meanwhile family therapy he is going to record all the things into the palm talk we can use any voice recorders like palm talk a mobile phone or voice recorder devices in my what happened that we are recording all the things what exactly he is diagnosing and what exactly uh, patient uh, uh, doctor is giving a treatment related to the disease so once doctor record all the things in the recorder device he forward that thing to the medical transcription department that is a department you know in this department and this department this department is simple very simple they are they will receive that medic the voice recorders from the doctor and then once they will receive the voice files they will listen to that voice file and then convert those voice voice files into a word file or pdf files so they are converting voice files into pdf files they will listen to the uh, to the recordings and then they converting into the pdf files so now we do have a soft copy of the the treatment that could be known as a uh, medical records because sometimes insurance company may ask that why you perform that service on the station so meanwhile we will have a Uh, the re reason that why we are what we identify and why we perform that service. Once the voice file converted into a PDF file, it moves to the they forward to the coding department. It is a specialized department which are responsible to convert that. that disease and the services which perform into our unique codes we do have a list of unique codes for everything like we are having fever and what treatment have been given what we have diagnosed and what we have diagnosed on a patient and what treatment we have given so there are two things our dx code and the cpt code dx code means what we diagnose on a patient what was the disease on to the patient and then cpt code are the codes is the treatment what treatment we are given so the disease and the treatment will be converted into a unique codes so once we converted into a uh, unique codes it will be forward to the charge posting department now because a uh, patient has an insurance so obviously we have to bill or we have to bill to the insurance company to intimate that your member came to us and taken the services from us and this is the bill and you supposed to pay that bill that charges so we have to pay you have to we have to post the charges to intimate to the insurance company so what will happen this is a department which is responsible which is responsible to enter the disease and the cpt code into a software once we enter the disease and treatment it will pick up automatically the charges we have already filled the charges against the treatment
So we not supposed to worry about that. That's what charges we supposed to uh, build for this treatment because it is already treatment that we have to just enter a treatment into a software. And once we enter the software, enter the treatment in the software, it will already or automatically get the charges, and then uh, we can send a claim because we are claiming, we are claiming our bill. So it will say that we can send the claim, our claim, to electronic. We we'll just today's software is so smart. We can send all the claims electronically. So what will happen? We have to just click the button to send. Once we send the claim, insurance company will receive the claim, and then they will verify it. Or we can send a paper claim. We can take out printout, and we can send those claims to insurance. All right. So once what happened that once we send the claim to insurance company, they will verify. They will verify whether patient active or not, and whether the services are covered or not. And whether the patient required those services or not. Once they identified, once they identified, they will make a payment. If everything is clear, if everything is clear, they will make a payment. And what? They bill an insurance company for hundred dollar, and we get a payment. So the case is closed. We got a payment against our services. So. There is a department, a payment posting department. As the name suggests, payment posting department. Those are responsible to post the payment into the software and make it zero and case approves. Close the case actually. So, payment posting department is going to post the payment. But it is not necessary that we will get a payment from insurance company. Sometimes happen that we were not aware that patient was not active or the services was not covered, or whether uh, we are not having any information about the claim, what is going on the claim. We bill to the insurance company, but it is more than a uh, three days, and we are not aware what is going on with our claim. So sometimes to follow up with insurance company to ask that boss i built a claim to you uh, 30 days before what happened to that claim or the claim is denied incorrectly we have probably received the information but it is not uh, it is denied incorrectly so what will happen so we have a department here who are responsible to follow up with the insurance company via telephone calls, direct telephone calls, we can make a direct telephone call via IVR or websites. We can get the claims status, what exactly going on with the claim, with the claim status, with the website. So what happened that? So there is a department which is known as account receivable department. This is a major department because they are the responsible for the to get the money, the struck money. Doctor is supposed to get that money, but he is not getting. So this department is going to play a crucial role and increase the revenue of the doctor department. I mean, if we are not having that department, then what will happen? Doctor will lose uh, their money. A major money because we are filing a claim, a hundred claim to the insurance company. Out of that, if the twenty claims are going to be denied, or we are not having any information, that means there is no one to follow up with the insurance company. So that is a major department which which get collect the revenue. All right. So this is actually what all about.